Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another DC deck building game. Uh, so for this video, as you saw by the title, we're going to go over updated promo cards. Um, so after each, during each generally Kickstarter campaign, after a year or so, different releases and stuff, they have a bunch of new promo cards. Um, I'm not going to go through all the Kickstarter exclusive cards um, again in this video. You can check them out in their available sets. Um, just because I don't think they're going to re-release those on the site. But all the rest of the promos are usually like event cards. Or they were um, first printing cards. Because usually Cryptic Zoic likes to re-release on their websites. So you can always go back and check out Cryptic Zoic's website. To maybe pick some of these up as packs. Um, first thing we do want to show off though is actually a correction they had. So from the original Multiverse box, we had Bombshells and Brightest Day as event cards, which were Kickstarter exclusive cards. Um, but this last campaign, they resent out two brand new ones that have the correct event backer. Now, if you sleeve these with uh, official sleeves that have opaque backs, that won't make any difference to you whatsoever. But if you're using clear sleeves, um, that's going to definitely make an issue. Otherwise, I don't think any of the text on any of the cards changed at all. Um, they just fixed the backs. So, just a quick update on those. So, in case you had those, they were available. I think they might be available for purchase as well. Um, Alright, so we'll look at some of the first printing cards. So, bro, let's pop this guy over the way. Um, so, for Rivals 4, Black Adam versus Shazam... Um, you got Hoppy here. So if this is a gang, this is the first printing on the set. So if you got this, if it says Kickstarter on it, on the box, or Kickstarter exclusive somewhere, this should be in the box, automatically included. Otherwise, if you're buying it regular retail after that or not the Kickstarter version, definitely check to see if it says first printing to see if that card's in here. Um, I was going to again, probably pick it up on their website. So you have Hoppy here as a hero, which for the Shazam deck, uh, plus one. First time you discard this card each turn, you may put it from your discard pile into your hand. Um, cool. And then we got some promos here for Justice League Dark Big Box Expansion. We have Jason Blood Soulbound. So he's a hero with plus three power. He has a defense. Discard this to avoid an attack. If you do, choose one. Draw two cards or transform. Seal this card and gain entry on Soulbound to your discard pile. To the Justice League Dark Expansion add the new transform and sealing mechanics. So sealing means puts them into your basically your score pile or your victory point pile. Um, and then you get to pull a card from the transform. So it becomes Entragon Soulbound. Um, so now it becomes a Nemesis card instead. Your Nemesis I may slay. With no power you will pay. If you choose to make this deal gone, this demon you must seal. Um, Entered in, of course, the Rhyming Demon. Uh, makes him really fun to listen to and read about. Um, yeah, so you get this, then you must seal him away. Um, so you play this, transform, seal into the Entragon, then you can get him a Nemesis card for free, which are your superheroes or super villains. So that's pretty cool there. Um, then we had for the Crisis, Cr Crisis Collection Set 2. Um, which included Crisis 3 and Crisis 4. Um, so if you bought the big boxes, they're re-releasing all the older, like smaller expansions together in boxes. So um, the previous promo video, we went over some of the cards from Crisis Expansion 1 and cl Crossover Collection 1. Here we're going to have some that go with this set. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have... Um, so from Crisis 3, we're going to get added in the Project Thermina Thermination. Uh, put the top two cards of the main deck into the lineup. Ongoing. When a hero enters the lineup, contribute it to this crisis. Uh, put the top card of the main deck into the lineup. Contributed heroes may be bought. Villain costs more than two of your feet. Each contributed hero. Contribute two superpowers and two equipment. Um... Contribute to this crisis and put it on top and put the top card of the main deck. So you have to contribute to superpowers and equipment. Um, but if a hero enters, it basically captures them, but you can purchase them. Um, and heroes and villains cost more for each hero. So every time it's a hit, you have to buy more heroes, you want to take out more villains. Uh, very, very interesting. And then for Crisis 4, 
which was uh, Crisis Series based off of the evil versions you gotta play as um, Earth 3 villains and stuff. That's a villain set. Crisis 4 was the Teen Titans set. So we have Red X. Um, you may discard any number of ongoing cards you control for each of you to gain a card from the lineup and put it into your hand. If you choose not to, plus 3 power. Uh, first appearance attack. Each player destroys a card they control. Each who does, does gains the top card of the main deck and a weakness. Um, so cool. You can get those extra cards as well. Alright, then for we had crossover collection too, which is the small little packs. We had, we ended up adding packs 1, which is Justice Society of America. Packs 3, which is the Legion of Superheroes. So we got brand new promo cards for that. It also added in the third set, which is the arrow set but they actually changed it up um uh, show the picture here so we have green arrow crossover pack to redux so it took the arrow set which is the live action from the tv series and redid it as comic book stuff um so you definitely want to check out that video or either the full video with all three of them or i'll be doing a separate video just a small one you can see what that is but we didn't get any new promo card for that we just got the two so for crossover one, we're actually going to use superhero. We're going to get Cyclone. You go up to Justice Society. Um, each time you play a hero, you may discard a punch. If you do, draw a card. Um, so that's pretty cool. That'll work well with that. And then for crossover three, which is the uh, Legion of Superheroes, we're going to get Shadow Lass. So she has time travel, posting out of your next attack this turn. If you own this card, plus one power. So it's really fun. You get extra little cards to kind of work in work well with these other uh decks and stuff then the next set of four promo cards we have were from gen con 2023 um and each one kind of sort of fits with the theme this one's just a generalized uh promo card but it's birds of prey which i guess you could kind of combine with the bombshell set um because it sort of fits that or the birds of prey set so either one of them it kind of feels like it's gonna fit into there um which is more or less a generalized set. But these came in a four pack together. Um, so you might, they might not be available as like a giant collection. Um, or, or single or individual. So you have plus three power. Defend. Or defense. Discard just to avoid an attack. If you do, put a superpower and or equipment from your discard pile into your hand or draw two cards. First appearance. Attack. Each player discards two different cards. Um, so this is, again, this is one of the nemesis or superheroes you fight against. Um... Well, that's always fun to do. So I did say you're going to include it in those sets, I guess. And that's since it wouldn't make sense to fight against these guys. But you could throw this in anywhere if you want to fight some of the villains um, against the Birds of Prey. So that's kind of cool. For the Flash, uh, the rival set 3, uh, Flash versus Reverse Flash, we're going to get Avery Ho as a hero, plus 2 power and Speedster to draw a card. Um, and then we're also going to get Savitar, as draw two cards, speedster attack each bow gains a weakness. So we're gonna gain a hero and a villain, one for each different side of the deck. Um, so yeah, it's kind of funny though, because we got Hoppy for Shazam, but we didn't get a second one. We then kind of we got like a Shazam card as, or a Black Adam card as well. Uh, then the last promo card we have in here is Injustice General Zod to go with our Injustice series. Um, which uh, I love that. I love that they started putting the little names down here in the bottom to help you know what promo cards kind of go with what set. So plus four power um, area attack. Each player discards a card with a cost of one or greater. And first appearance attack. Each player discards a card. Each who discards a card with a VP value of one or less gains two weaknesses. Um, so that's cool. You get another villain to fight off against um, in the Injustice series. All right, so that's our promo cards for this set, and we'll probably keep doing this every year. I'll just kind of collect them over they go through each year. Um, so you've seen you release a lot of them during the Kickstarter campaigns. Um, and then we'll just do kind of an updated promo every once in a while. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Check out all the other videos. Again, check out the Green Arrow Redux set, whether it's the single individual video or the full collection if you want to see what cards are different in there. Um, I'm also going to do comparison sets between the collections see if there's anything different so if you already own them whether it's worth picking any of them back up um kind of idea plus all the other new kickstarter rival spore shazam black adam injustice league dark uh flashpoint 
um, some other fun stuff there. See you guys later. Bye.